Welcome to another video by Pass the GED. This one is on the best places to find practice math GED tests. When looking at the best practice math GED tests, you want to look to see if they are free or if they cost money. Are they made by the GED or are they made by someone else? Do they automatically score your um, practice test? And then based upon that score, do they make recommendations and give you next steps for studying? These are all the things we're going to talk about in this video and how we're going to analyze the, um, the different options you have. So the best practice tests, in my opinion, are ones that contain diagrams, tables, and pictures. The real GED, almost every question is going to have a diagram, table, or picture. Maybe not every, 80%, I would say. Um, and you also want something that's, again, going to be scored for you with that report. So my first two recommendations are... Uh, number one, the sixth grade course challenge in Khan Academy, which is free. And then the practice ready GED test, which is $6. And now I'll show you both of these. But before I do that, I often recommend to people who just want to take the practice ready test to still take the sixth grade course challenge first, because that will even allow you to get a more accurate score on the ready test. But if you want to jump into the ready test from GED.com, um, I think that's perfectly fine. So let's go and look at both of these. Here is uh, Khan Academy 6th grade, and I'm just going to sc scroll through it real quick. Uh, I did make a video on how to use Khan Academy where I go in depth on the 6th grade and why uh, you should focus on 6th grade, so please look at that. But in short, almost all of this stuff is on the GED. Now, it might not be as easy as sixth grade level, but if you can master sixth grade math and you know it through and through, chances are that's enough to get a 145 and pass. Um, I do recommend you focus on some high school content, of course, but this is enough. Um, it's got pretty much everything that you will see just at kind of the easier end. So after I've scrolled through here is the course challenge. It is 30 questions, it takes 30 to 45 minutes, and you will get a report at the end. That's sort of what you can see from my, um, my course summary over here. You can see where I have scored and, and what I need to work on. All right, here is GD.com, and this is where you would purchase the, the GD Ready Test, the official GD practice test. Highly recommended to take the time to do this. I know $6 isn't great. You have to pay for it. It's a one-time shot, but if you can afford it, I do think it's worth it. Um, so the test, it is. it looks just like the real GED test. It's just half the length. So instead of 46 questions, it's 23 questions. Uh, you have a no calculator period. You also have a period where you can use a calculator. You will get a scaled score that is just like the GED score. So in other words, a 145 to pass. They will tell you whether or not you're likely to pass based upon your score. Uh, I've had lots of people ask me, hey, how close are the two aligned? And I would say pretty close, plus or minus, you know, four or five points. So if you're... Um, you know, within 150, you should be good. I, I rarely do I see people going in with a 140, get into 145, though. Um, so you, you definitely want to be above. You want to at least be 148 uh, to, to 150 is where we like to see the people that we work with. And then here's the report I'm talking about. We'll, we'll give you recommendations on what you need to work on. So again, highly recommended to take the GED Ready Test. Another thing you want to look for when you're taking GED practice tests is are they GED level questions, you know, at the level of difficulty and hopefully even made by GED. So I just talked about the ready test, but there is a practice test released from the GED and I want to show that to you real quick. So this is uh, a released practice test from GED. I will put the link below. It is only 10 questions. 
It doesn't grade it for you. It doesn't uh, provide any recommendations at the end. But if you're looking for GED level and GED type questions, uh, this is really great. And I will also link a video of, it's either myself or another teacher that I work with, explaining the answers to these uh, questions, as well as some other released items. Uh, I will link those videos below, which are really, really useful because it just increases the number of GD level questions that you can uh, practice on. Okay, lastly, I do recommend if you go to your local library and get a book, uh, whether it's Kaplan or any of the, the numerous different publishers put out a GED book, those can be great, especially there's practice tests in there. Again, they're not going to grade it for you. They're not going to provide recommendations. Same with online tests. Um, I've looked through quite a few of the online ones. Some of them are pretty good, and um, I, I recommend them. But again, because they don't provide you with something to focus on and they're not GED level, um, I just say that they're, they're just good for general practice. All right, thanks for watching. I wish you a lot of luck on the GED test. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of these videos as you're studying, please subscribe to this channel. We greatly appreciate the support. And check out some of these other videos over here for uh, more practice. And again, good luck.